introducing a new and simplified method for installing Luke's mod. However, if you prefer the traditional approach, that option is still available. Begin by opening the link provided in the pinned comment. Follow that by opening the subsequent link. This will redirect you to a Google Drive page. Download the file from this page. I've already acquired both necessary files. This software facilitates the easy installation of Luke's mod. Initially open the program. Upon launching, the application will automatically create several folders. Currently, the app supports a specific set of games. Now place Luke's mod files into the app's folders as demonstrated in the video. Ensure that you don't miss any steps. Overlooking details may result in crashes or prevent the game from opening. If you plan to install the mod in Red Dead Redemption 2, Cyberpunk 2077, or Ratchet & Clank, use the traditional method. You can refer to my how-to video in the description for guidance. You'll need to repeat this process whenever Luke releases an updated version of his mod. However, performing this step once allows you to install the mod across multiple games simultaneously. In this video, I'll guide you through the process of installing the mod into Spider-Man Remastered. Select the game from the menu and locate the game directory. Simply search for the main folder. The app will know where to copy the files. If the game requires any specific options to be enabled, you can check them. Refer to the requirements list in the pinned comment for more details. Customize your preferences as needed. The program also includes a mod uninstall option. After confirming the correct information, hit install and wait. You'll see an installation completed message. For Spider-Man Remastered, there's an additional step. Always read the README file when downloading a new update. Copy this command into the Spider-Man application shortcut. Go to Properties and paste the command. Open the game. If the command prompt appears, your work is done. As you can see, no flickering issue or ghosting issue. The game is very playable. Notice that my processor is running at 3.2 gigahertz. This is because my CPU was overheating, so I've disabled turbo mode. If you have a good CPU, expect better FPS in CPU bound scenarios. Like and subscribe for more videos.